Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. He's a talented artist who's had an impact on everything from music to movies to policy and politics. He's the first rapper to win an Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, plus a Golden Globe. Come on, somebody. Turn up, man. Now he's revealing his truth about life and love in his new book, Let Love Have the Last Word. Please welcome down to the circle, <laughs> rapper, actor, activist, <laughs> Chi-Town homie, Come on. Oh my god. What's up, y'all? Yeah, I hear. What's going you on? You're looking good, too. Thank you. Good. Thank look you. Good. Thank you. Like my that. God. Yes. I'm in the circle. Good. I'm in the circle. Yeah, you're in the circle. Yes. <laughs> now, come on, we, let me tell you something. First of all, I'm so proud of you mm -hmm. as a man, as a black man, and just coming up in Chicago. You know, it's. It, I, I'm proud to say that I'm from Chicago. We're from the same spot. Yes. You know, so we were just talking about the glow up, you know what I'm saying? How we've been yeah. growing up yeah. down <laughs> to the industry the whole time. Yes. Everybody going up. Yes. Um, but, <laughs> Let's get into movies, because your movies, your books, your music, I mean, everything. But you've gone from Aces of Spades to mm. Just Right to, yeah. you know, John Wick, which I just saw, yeah. part three. I wish well, I was. I ain't in three. They ain't yeah. having me in three. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, um, yeah. <laughs> and The Hate You Give in Selma. Now, you're very diverse as an actor. Is this something that, do you think that your roles pick you, or do you pick them? Well, I think, um, shoot, in many ways, it's, it's, it's a mutual thing. Like, I, I pick the roles because mm -hmm. I, I'm attracted to roles that mm -hmm. I feel like I could really do something with. Like, mm -hmm. as an actor, I want to show that diversity. I want to, like, I want to be challenged. Right. I want to grow. But then, you know, those really magical, like, divine roles, they pick you. Like, it's life. Right. It's like life, you know. Right. Sometimes, uh, you know, a lot of things we go for, is like, it's chosen for us, but mm -hmm. we just got to... We just got to realize it. Yeah, so right. that's how I feel about the roles. It's like, um, you know, some of the first roles, like you was talking with Smoke and Aces, those were, those were gifts for me. Smoke. Those were gifts for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah. did your thing. Yeah, thanks. Mm -hmm. I, that was fun. That was my first movie. So it was like one of the greatest experiences of my life and working with, with the director and Alicia Keys and Taraji. Mm -hmm. Were you nervous? It. Yeah, I was definitely nervous. Yeah. I remember that first day, like, <laughs> they called me to the set. I was like, man, I was super nervous. But then... I've been I've been studying acting for a while, so I just had to like after a while I had to mm -hmm. let that go. Right. Yeah. So anyway, I think you know, I love like I want to do characters that you wouldn't expect me to right. do. I want I want my characters to to you. I want you to see comedy. Right. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Right. Yes. Well, I mean, you have every award under the under the sun. You really do. You've been doing your thing. Yeah. You have, but you don't have a tone yet. Are you looking to go on Broadway or do more stage plays? Yeah, I, I really want to do Broadway because mm -hmm. I love plays. Mm -hmm. uh, since a kid, I always liked going to theater. I, and even when I go to New York, I'm always going to theater. Yeah. I actually, uh, for for my book, I did a presentation uh, that was kind of theater based. Mm -hmm. So I'm already try, like like looking for the right project mm -hmm. to do on, yeah. on Broadway. Yeah. And yeah. speaking of your book, um, let's talk about the book, the the memoir. Um, Let love be the last word is the yeah. name of the book. Why did you choose to be so vulnerable mm -hmm. in this book? Well, you know, I felt I felt that by telling my truth, um, it may open other people up to tell their truth, mm -hmm. and you know, it's something healing and yeah. just being right. able to just say who you are yeah, and what, what you've been through. Yeah, mm -hmm. that transparency. And I think it's a, you know, it's a duty for me and us as, as people who are in the public eye. We always show our good sides yep. and good selves. It's mm -hmm. like, I think we owe it to the people to show sometimes the, the pain and the struggle mm -hmm. and the victory through that pain. Yeah. So that they, so that we can kind of say, hey y'all, y'all can make it through this too. Cause exactly. I, this, is what I'm, this is what I'm using to yeah. make it through it. Right. So that's why I wrote Openly. You, you talked about child molestation. Mm -hmm. How hard was that for you to do, and why was it so important? Well, it was definitely, a, it was difficult for me um, initially because I never talked about mm -hmm. that in my life. Yeah. I never even really dealt with it, never right. even acknowledged it. So when I did, it was, it was like, well, this is for real. And, but as I was writing about it, it was pretty therapeutic for mm -hmm. me, and mm -hmm. it was important for me to talk about because like in, in the black community, mm -hmm. we it's don't. It's a hush hush thing. Yeah, we don't hush. say a word. Yeah. yeah, especially you know in our community, and, and as a black man, especially with men. Yeah, mm -hmm. with men, we don't like discuss it a lot. And, and you know, 
I've been like going to visit prisons and talk to people in mm -hmm. prisons and, and a lot of people that I met that ended up in prison was they were sexually abused. Yeah. They were like women and men. Mm -hmm. So it was like, man, this is something that's happening to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And I felt like me telling this story and my story can hopefully be a part of stopping the cycle, you mm -hmm. know? Absolutely. Well, when we come back, we're going to get deeper into Common's book, Let Love Have the Last Word, and we're going to get into his love life a little bit, too. Don't be so. nosy. <laughs> Don't be nosy. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We are back with Oscar-winning rapper, actor, Common. Mm -hmm. Okay, then. So down to the book, yes. okay, you talked about going to therapy, and you know, black men, they really shy away from therapy, yeah, so yeah. I commend you on that. Yeah. But you said that when you got to therapy, you found out that you were addicted to love. Mm. Yeah. Talk to, expound, to expound yeah, that What concept. is that about, Carmen? Uh, well, you know, a, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's something, you know, it's thing. something that, um, that my therapist was talking to me, telling me why I was repeating certain cycles. Uh -huh. um, and, and, and that love addiction is something where you really, like, you really do, like want to be in love and you like that feeling mm -hmm. but once it comes down to the, to the work of a relationship mm -hmm. you kind of are ready for it so right. you move mm -hmm. you move and you run or make ah. excuses so and then you go into another cycle of like oh i want that feeling again mm -hmm. it's the so addiction it's, it's a, yeah it's the a love, euphoric yeah, when that honey that oh, honeymoon, like that honeymoon like, stage the honeymoon stage mm -hmm. but but you know that's not what the person i wanted to be so I was like, I had to work on myself, mm -hmm. you know, and that's what. Did you that's get good work? You, you all right I'm, now? I'm doing the work. I'm doing the work. <laughs> yeah, I'm all right now. I'm all right now. I'm all right now. Still, it's still, it's, it's, it's on. It's on. It's on. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, we gonna pray for you. Yeah, pray for you. <laughs> we got going. you though. People, yeah. So you dated some pretty amazing women. I won't go through the resume because I want to put you out there like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the people know. Eric Badu. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm not gonna do it. Okay. No, I'm just okay with that. Okay. So tell me, what type do you have? A type? Because it's kind of like Serena Williams, yeah. you know, it's kind of been, what yeah. are you attracted to? Uh, I love black women. Uh -huh. uh, and, we know and, you love, uh, we, we and, then, uh, and then I like women, you know, within that, that, within that thought is like, I like women who are spiritual, who fun, are they fun, they like, you know, um, they care about people. Mm -hmm. Oh, you, you know, like so, compassionate people. Yeah, uh -huh. compassionate people and just, mm -hmm. you know, somebody who I could grow with and, and I help them grow. Mm -hmm. That's the type of women and I And they like. help you through therapy. Well, I, the therapist helped me with that. Mm -hmm. She do her own therapy. I know, that's right. <laughs> and on this good note, Carmen, we love having you here down Thank to the you. circle. Don't forget to go out and get his new book, Let Love Have the Last Word, available wherever fine books are sold. And if you're staying with us for the full hour, Carmen is going to stick around and head over to the table with the rest of us. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We are back with the one and only Carmen, and we just could not let him leave without coming over oh. to the table. Yeah. So very yeah. happy to have you. Thank you. To get a little bit more in depth about your life, and just recently, uh, you you got an honorary doctorate from our beloved alma mater, Florida A&M University. Yes. There you are. Thank and you, you did the commencement speech as well. And you spent two years on the Hill. What did it feel like to go back and in this way? Um, to go back, that was like, man, it touched me, first of all, just to ride back on the campus and then start to see those families as they, as they were going into the ceremony. I was like, man. Black college is the best. Yeah, yeah. That's it just, right. it, just hit That's right. my, it hit my spirit. And like, I thought about all the families, like how, how hard they work to get their kids to mm -hmm. graduate. So I started getting sparked about the, the ceremony and it just was full circle for me because to leave, when I left school, it was like I was pursuing my dream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't never knew I would be back there like to speak to a, at, a, at a graduation ceremony. And they surprised me with the honorary doctorate. So. I was rocking that robe all day. Like, yeah. I was like, like, I ain't gonna take that to the shower. Yeah. You gotta let the shower yeah. do it. Yeah. Yes. So, I got yeah. in the kitchen yeah. cooking. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yes, yes, that's yeah. awesome. With the Rattler family, we're so proud of you. And we claimed you. you since the very beginning. Thank you. Absolutely. Right. <laughs> I'm, right. I'm a Rattler. That's right. That's, that's, right. Right. that's, that's right. right. Speaking of HBCUs and the DMB or BSU, yeah. uh, your, your daughter just graduated from Howard. Yeah. Awesome. And you, you, you speak about her a lot in your book. As a matter of fact, your last passages were about her in yes. the book. Uh, how has she inspired you? Mm -hmm. And she inspired me um, to. She kind of is like a teacher to me in certain ways because you don't think of your child that you will learn from them, but you do. And she did that by just being a truth teller to me. Um, you know, she always gives the truth. And also, like, I learned to listen to her more, like, and that's been teaching me to listen in more in my mm -hmm. relationships and mm -hmm. everything. Like, it's just like, sometimes, you know, I have a tendency to talk over people or 
already got my thought of what I want to oh, yeah. say. And but I think she been, you know, and she and she teach me about g good music too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, she I, turn you on to some of these new artists. Yeah, some of the new artists. She got you on. I mean, she she likes some of the same. I like Frank Ocean. She like Frank Ocean. Mm -hmm. right. But then, you know, she'll like um, Saba. This this rapper named Saba. I mm -hmm. like. She'll like him. Um, she like No Name. This 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 right. artist from Chicago. So yeah, she'll hit me up to some of that. But we like some of the same stuff, and then she'll turn me on to some of the young yeah, yeah, that's good stuff. Good yeah. stuff. All right, then. Well, we're going to get back on this relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Just say, cool. That was your thought. That was your thought. We didn't get much clarity yes. on the couch. So. Yeah. That's what had happened. I mean, let's just I be honest about it. I You're thought like, I was clear. No, you ain't clear yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you are one of the most eligible bachelors in Hollywood, honestly, really and truly. Uh, what does a relationship look like to you? Well, well, first I gotta say I am actually dating somebody. Okay, okay, okay. So, okay. Yeah, yeah. You better get it. And uh, a relationship is looking very. Um, it's it's fun. It's like it's like real communication. Mm -hmm. Like I, I need that, um, and it's also like that support where I can support the person and feel good, and then she can support me and we got balance mm -hmm. and uh, and and um you know overall i'm always like man my relationship i want to grow closer to god yeah. i want this person mm -hmm. to help me grow closer to god and yeah. i help them grow closer mm -hmm. to god right, and right, that, right. so that's what my the best of my relationship look like i yeah. like that yeah. so do you find that you're going to get married soon I mean, I, I I envision that for myself. I believe that could happen. In a yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it happened when it's supposed to happen. Yeah. 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 By the way, it's all on the card, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. on the card. They asked yeah. the time frame. They asked no, the time frame. No, no. It's on the card. Oh, it's on the card. Oh, it's on the card. You start coming up with that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see that on the card. Yeah. It's a, it's what's, a what's her name? It's a beautiful young lady. Good. Oh, that's all we need. I don't get any, you know, you know there's no she a black beautiful sister. Good. Like, all right. Yeah. That's all we need. Y'all ain't nothing. It's a beautiful sister. Speaking of uh, beauty, uh -huh. okay then, uh, what's tea on new music? Because oh, yeah. I know in your book you talk about, you know, when you, you like to drive and you like to, you know, get your thought process, your thought process jogs your, yeah. your, um, art, your artistry. Yeah. So it helps you think about the new music. Have you started on a new album? Oh yeah, no, I'm glad you asked that. Cause I have an album that's inspired by the book. Good. It's called Let Love Have the Last Word, the oh, album wow. is. And, uh, but it's, it's not everything that, that is in the book, but it's, uh, it's really got a, I'm really geeked about it. It's coming out this summer. The first song is a song called Her Love, and um, it's got <laughs> Daniel Caesar on it. And oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it's produced by this guy, well, one, the late great um, producer named Jay Dilla, who was like one of my favorite producers, who mm. produced The Light for me and did a lot of work oh, with Angela. Yeah. yeah, so he, he, he passed, but he has some music still left. So I'm excited about that. Um, the whole project is like, it's, it goes deep into places, but it's inspiring. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's good stuff. Yeah. Well, you know, you heard Selena and I talk about basketball at the yeah. beginning of the show. Yes. And you being from Chicago, you know, I got a couple of questions. Who is the greatest, LeBron or Michael Jordan? Now you know. I mean, it's, I mean, it's, Mike. it's come Mike. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Disagree with that at the same time. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. It, right. from the shy, you can't say yeah. nobody else. I think they're both great for their times. Yes, yeah. that's, that's, that's He's the great truth. for his that's era good. right now. It's politically that's right. Truth, that's good. It is. Trina's just always diplomatic. She <laughs> LeBron is, don't get me wrong, right. LeBron is one of the greatest to ever he do is. it. He and is. I acknowledge his greatness and he established his own mm -hmm. path. But Mike just did something that. Is yeah. unprecedented. Yeah, you know, he spawned so. the era. Yes. Yeah. yeah, he spawned. He changed the game. If it game wasn't for him, for it wouldn't be no. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. Exactly. Well, who you got? Who, who's taking it all? Golden State. We, Come we, on, we, okay. You know, I'll go to State. Like they, they, so they play like a team. Heart. They play. Yeah. They're a real team. That's what I like. I like just like y'all. Yeah, it's a team. Everybody yes. got no, mm -hmm. no. This person can shine at this moment. This yes. person shine at this moment. I like seeing teams. So mm -hmm. Golden State. Steph Curry is a great leader for yes. them. And and they showing that even without their best player. They still can like win, yeah. and that's just and, and the other people stepping up, and that just that just goes to the culture of the team. Absolutely. I love seeing yes. great teams. Yes, that's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. So, what else do you have going on? You have a school opening up in the fall as yeah, well. Yeah, it's a school in Chicago called AIM. Mm. It's um art in motion, mm -hmm. and um, it's you know it's really a school that's 
it's free, tuition free, awesome. um, and it's a school like where we gonna not only have academics, but they'll be having social and emotional development, mm -hmm. creative That's arts. Good. They'll learn what it is to do production on a TV show. Yes. You know, learn what it is to be a costume um, d designer or makeup artist. Uh, we just, I just want to expose the kids to things that we get to yes. see that they don't get to see and, and make an academic. Last really question, good. Carmen. Last question. Mm -hmm. The book is called "Let Love Have the Last Word." In your book, you talk about love being an action word. Yeah. What is the last action? The, the last action for yes. me is this: um, is to be first of all, just let God rule first, mm -hmm. and, let, and when God ruling, you know, your action of love will always be there. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think you know, love is the, is putting that in action, putting God in action. That's right now. That's That's awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. We love it, and we're so glad that God is continuing to yes, use God. you as a vessel mm -hmm. for so many different mm -hmm. things. So keep walking in your light, sir. Thank you. Thank Congratulations you. on everything. Yes, 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 yes. And you want to grab his new book, Let Love Have the Last Word. It's available wherever fine books are sold. Can we give it up for the one and only? Comment.